sit You're going to do the bachelorette? Day. Yes. Babies. <laughs> hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your host, Zachary Reality. And today we're going to be talking about Kim Kardashian potentially becoming the next Bachelorette, as well as Claire Crawley, who just announced on Instagram that she is having a baby. So we have a couple fun topics to discuss on today's YouTube video. So happy Wednesday. Hope you're all having a great week. We are halfway through the week. So if you are waiting for the weekend, we're almost there. Just, just hang in there a little bit longer. Um, I got coffee this morning, went for a nice little walk. So all in good spirit and in good vibes today. So if you guys are new to my channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and you know the drill. You got to subscribe. Help me get to 12,000 subscribers. I need your help. So let's first start off by talking about Kim Kardashian becoming the next Bachelorette. So, so there was a clip posted on the Bachelorette and the Kardashians Instagram alluding to the next episode where Kim is telling her family that she accepted the role as the next Bachelorette. She got a call from Robert Mills and she's gonna be the next Bachelorette. Let's take a look at this clip and watch it together. An executive from Disney called me. So she's taunting her family, she's teasing them, she's trying to build up the suspense. I'm gonna be Stop the Bachelorette. <laughs> I'm so serious. So she says she's going to do the show The Bachelorette, but then she also says she's going to be The Bachelorette. I'm gonna she's do The Bachelorette? That. Yes. Well, Kim, 100% you're not doing <laughs> Yes, that. why? Kylie seems kind of excited, but Chris, Courtney, and Chloe seem a little confused. Chloe is just not believing her. No, not happening. Nope. Either is Chris. I'm kind of shocked that Chris is so resistant to this because Chris is a huge Bachelor Nation fan. If you guys don't remember, Chris has been a Bachelor Nation fan forever since Ben Flanick was the Bachelor way back in the day. She was hanging out with him. And I know that Kendall and Kylie watched The Bachelorette as well. And Kim has even tweeted about The Bachelor before in the past. I remember when it was the finale of Pilot Pete season, Kim was tweeting like, go Hannah Ann, go Hannah Ann. So Kim is definitely a huge Bachelor fan. And a lot of fans who saw this clip are commenting online. Maybe she's just going to host a group date. Maybe she's just going to be like a guest star for an episode but the thing is she literally said i'm going to be the bachelorette which means that she is going to be the lead of the show with 25 suitors vying to date her i'm gonna do the show the bachelorette I'm going to be Stop the bachelorette. Now, it is possible that this could potentially just be a way to cross promote both shows because the Kardashians and the Bachelorette are both on Hulu. So it, it's most likely a short clip to get you to tune into the Kardashians on Wednesday night, which is tonight for the new episode to hear the full clip and the full context. So I don't believe that Kim is actually going to be the bachelorette. But based on this clip, it literally says that she is going to be the bachelorette. I'm going to be Stop the bachelorette. <laughs> Would Kim ever be the Bachelorette? There has been so many people wanting Chloe to be the Bachelorette forever, especially because she has had so much difficulty finding love and finding the one, and she's so deserving. But Kim also is back in the dating game as well. And if you're watching this season of the Kardashians, she has expressed wanting to get herself back out there and start dating after her split from Pete Davidson. So I'm totally here for this. Do I think it's actually happening? No, because when would it happen? Charity season of The Bachelorette is on right now. That's going to air the next couple of months. If you guys didn't see my recap from yesterday's episode, check it out on my channel. But Charity season is going to be airing. And then Bachelor in Paradise airs in September, as well as The Golden Bachelor, which is going to be about an older gentleman finding love. And then we're always used to The Bachelor coming on in January with one guy and a bunch of girls. So let's just say hypothetically Kim is actually going to be The Bachelorette. Based on ABC's schedule and timeline in Bachelor Nation, it really wouldn't happen until next year, 2024. As in, it would be airing a year from now since we're watching charity season of The Bachelorette right now. Yes, maybe it could come on in the fall, but like I said, there's two other shows on in the fall anyway. I know Michelle's season was on in the fall, like a couple years ago, but no, Kim is not being The Bachelorette, but could you guys see it? Would they get celebrity contestants to be on the show? Would they get athletes, trainers, lawyers, accountants? Like, would they get people of a higher class that could potentially date Kim Kardashian? How would Kim do on the show? Would you rather see Kim or Chloe be the bachelorette? Or could they have a double bachelorette with Kim and Chloe? Kim, 100% you're not doing <laughs> Yes, that. why? Not happening. Nope. Listen, it's definitely not happening, but it's fun to speculate. And I think we're just, I think I'm just feeding into them trying to market both shows. So let me know your thoughts down below. And let's move over to chatting about Claire Crawley, who just announced that she is having a baby. Now, this is such exciting news because Claire infamously went viral for her conversation with with Dale when they talked about their engagement to Chris Harrison back in 2020 when Claire Crawley was the bachelorette and Claire said that she wanted to have 
babies. What is next for you guys? Moving in together, wedding, what's up? I think like, you know, obviously. Babies. <laughs> uh, really like. Babies. <laughs> she is finally having a baby at 42 years old. Claire took to her Instagram to share the exciting news with a clip with a laundry basket, with a clip and a laundry basket saying, our laundry is about to get a whole lot cuter in 2024. This truly is what dreams are made of. I can't tell you how hard it has been to hold this secret in as I've shared the last 10 years of my life with you all. This is one journey though that Ryan and I have been keeping close to our hearts as we navigated the uncertain worlds of IVF and all that comes with it up until this point. I can't wait to share it all with you soon and what it's like for us. Until then, we are so incredibly grateful to the Egg Whisperer for making miracles happen. Baby Dawkins will be arriving via our amazing angel surrogate in 2024. So that means that the baby is due in about seven months. So the surrogate is about three to four months pregnant. That is so amazing and such exciting news, especially for Claire, who's always wanted to find love and have kids. If you guys don't remember, she was first seen on Juan Pablo's season of The Bachelor way back in 2014. It was the 14th season and Claire made it all the way until the end. She was the runner up on his season and she infamously told him off at the end when Juan Pablo dumped her for Nikki Farrell. Juan Pablo and Nikki did not end up working out after the show, but Claire was really upset when she was broken up with by Juan Pablo because there was no sign and she didn't have any like idea that it was happening like he gave her every reason to believe that she was the one so she was really shocked and she even said infamously I would never want my daughter having a father like you I thought I knew what kind of man you were okay what you just made me go through mm -hmm. I would never want my children having a father like you okay Oof. and then she told him off at the, after the final rose but it was not done for claire her journey for love was not done on bachelor nation keep in mind she's been on six shows she then went to bachelor in paradise season one where she dated zach calter he was on desiree's season he is now a travel blogger engaged to influencer and travel blogger helen owens you guys may have seen him and her on instagram they're so fabulous and beautiful together but that did not work out between zach and claire as she left the show crying and in tears. And then she went back for Bachelor in Paradise season two. She went on a few different dates. I do remember she went on a date with Jared Heyman, who is now married to Ashley. I did not work out for her. So then she went on to Bachelor Winter Games. Now, Bachelor Winter Games was a show filmed in Vermont. It was only four episodes, so it was super short, but they had some Bachelor Nation OG members like Ben Higgins and Ashley. I and Bibiana, and they competed in different Olympic games with different different athletes and different Bachelor Nation stars from other countries like New Zealand and Australia. And Claire did end up getting engaged on that season. She met this guy, Benoit, who was from Canada. And Benoit proposed to Claire on the reunion for Bachelor Winter Games. But unfortunately, that relationship did not work out for her either. So then a couple years later, she's now our Bachelorette. And dare I say, this was the most explosive and dramatic Bachelor season, Bachelorette season of all time. Because after 10 days, she got engaged to Dale Moss, who she was already excited about meeting because basically this was the COVID year. So Claire was able to see the cast list of men for her season of The Bachelorette months before they ended up filming in Palm Springs. So I definitely feel like Claire had a crush on Dale before she even got there. And remember, Matt James was originally cast for that season of The Bachelorette as well. But then he ended up becoming The Bachelor before... Claire's season started even filming and then he was the bachelor right after that so he never even went on to her season but Claire got engaged to Dale and you know they had that conversation about having babies babies <laughs> babies <laughs> and Claire and Dale dated for a couple years they were on and they were off it was definitely a roller coaster to follow we all kind of knew something was fishy but we rooted for her we wanted her to find love and, you know, it just did not work out with Dale. And sadly, that was the end of her bachelorette journey because Taysha ended up taking over. And I mean, that was when another star was born because Taysha truly was one of the most iconic bachelorettes of all time. And that was a very interesting season, the way everything kind of transitioned. But Claire ended up finding a guy in the real world. Ryan Dawkins is her husband. They got engaged last year. 
He is a professional. He is off camera. He is age appropriate. He seems perfect for Claire. They got married in February in Sacramento during a very small intimate ceremony and they have been together for the past couple of years. So it seems like this is the guy for her. She found him off camera. All those tries on The Bachelor um, really just led her to this moment. She never gave up on love. She never gave up on wanting to be a mother. And now she's having a baby. So we are over the moon and super excited for Claire. Babies. <laughs> Congratulations. And those are our two topics that we are chatting about on today's YouTube video. So let me know your thoughts on a Kardashian possibly being the next Bachelorette and your thoughts on Clara's baby announcement in the comments down below. And for all things reality TV episode recaps, lots of fun interviews, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you're always notified whenever I post new videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.